very determined. She's strong-willed. She has an independence. But I didn't want her to become a caricature. It was very important that she, we found her humanity and her vulnerability, and also that, that you, as the audience, would be with her. We really owe Felicity a manicure after this. <laughs> and a nice hair treatment. <laughs> My first memory of it was watching at my cousin's house, and I just remember so vividly the, you know, the introduction as it goes as it goes up the screen. But I really rediscovered it from obviously doing this film and going back and watching everything, and then just realizing, oh my God, the Star Wars was so it just you could do a degree in it. It's so kind of, um, there's so much detail, and I'm constantly going onto Wikipedia and checking things and checking references and, and trying to work out the history and all the characters, and I have such affection for it. In the original story pitch that I did, um, I described Jen Erso, team leader, female, smart and tough, battle-worn, little cynical and jaded from everything she's been through. She's seen it all, and maybe that makes her seem a little callous to those who don't really know her. Jen is sort of the, the central figure in this team, but she's sort of distanced herself from people. She's a survivor. She's more of an everyman character, an every woman character. She gives us a chance to understand sort of what it's like to be a regular person inside of Star Wars and see the events that we were familiar with of the civil war between the rebellion and the empire through a different pair of eyes. That felt proper to us. It just, it, it felt right for this particular story. If the Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? What chance do we have? The question is what choice? Jen comes at this with an unusual hook, and that is so much of Star Wars is spent with our heroes wondering where they came from, not knowing who their parents are. I love you, Stardust. I love you too, Papa. Jen, she knows where she comes from and that really does define who she is. Father! Jin's father kind of got talked into creating this super weapon, you know, like the nuclear bomb of Star Wars, in order to protect his family. And so that guilt hangs over her. A lot of it is about relationships between children and parents. Papa, Papa, it's me. Because of this, Jin hates the Empire. So whenever Jin sees stormtroopers, she just wants to annihilate them. <laughs> Which was great fun to play, just being able to bash stormtroopers on the head without <laughs> any feelings of guilt. I, I love the chaos. I love it. Jin, no! So the fitness, nothing compared to doing Rogue One. Every day there's some kind of assault course obstacle that we're given. There was a lot of rehearsal, a lot of preparation. We're trying to create a situation where being thrown off balance can produce something spontaneous to make that feel as real as possible, to make it feel like, you, you know, that your heart's beating and you're actually in this situation. It's quite late in the day. There's been a lot of running around. <laughs> I'm just going to do some stretches. Action. It's been the most physical exercise I've ever done in my entire life. I want to cut back to this and see like everything proceeding and disappearing. Felicity, I mean, apart from the fact she's a really great actress, she does make it seem so easy that you forget what she's going through sometimes. And as amazing it is to make Star Wars, it's also very hard. I used to, whenever I was thinking, I think I've got one of the hardest jobs in the world, I'd always stop myself and go, actually, Felicity's got the hardest job. Carrying a Star Wars movie, you couldn't ask someone to do anything harder. Here we are. 
Welcome to the set. There's a little bit when you're walking onto set and there's an enormous set with hundreds and hundreds of people. You sort of have to tell yourself, come on, right, you can do this, you can do this. Because you're slightly quaking in your, in your boots, literally in your army boots. Yeah, I'm very glad I had the chance to, to go through this journey with her because th this is something new for both of us. You know, the size of this film can be very scary. And I was very lucky to have her next to me, you know, always there to kind of grab my hand and go like, oh my God, <laughs> here we are. Let's make sure we stick together. What happens when you're in it, you get so involved in what she's doing and suddenly you have an out of body moment when you're just thinking, this is, this is amazing. By the end of the film, Din actually forges true connections with the people around her. And even at the end of the film, when they are facing their death, there's a bravery in that because it's come through a connection with the people around her. And they've achieved what they achieve because they achieve it together. <laughs>